Alright. Go! No Japan. No warrior now. This park. Microphone check one two. What is this? No Japan. No warrior now. Parks on the board. Back, back for two seconds. <laughs> Royce has a room on the chatter house talking about Eminem. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, Royce, Marshall, get your shit off. Marshall, <laughs> stop. I can't with the little pump tough thing dot dot dot. I don't know what that means. Uh, what what M say about little pump? No clue. Screen man, save on. Someone that asked for a raise? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though That Royce is <laughs> Well let's check the Google speed On Double Ray's man Right here <laughs> I hate that term Oh what's that yeah. I have to do with him oh, Fam Why are we letting Little Pump say shit First of all, little, why, I'm, no, I'm no, 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 no. little Pump can't, can't why, does, why does Eminem Respond to all of these people now I, I don't know That's if he did, did I'm he? not saying a pump I'm just saying that Like to the people That he has to responded me? to like why, is, why is he responding? You're like, big pump. Why, why so. is he responding to big pump? <laughs> yeah, like. Yo, this is he's part of the he's part of the kids, right? I don't know this nigga. I don't give a fuck about this kid. But he's part of the kids that just pop out every four or five months, say or do something really, really, really stupid, mm. and then people talk about him. Yeah. Mm. I have not heard one of this kid's songs. I don't know what he does. I just know Adam Twenty Two keeps talking to him. <laughs> that's all you know. That's all you need to know. That's, that's who the fuck gives Lil Pump the right to talk about Eminem? Adam Twenty Two. Who the fuck get uh, Adam Twenty Two? <laughs> Donald I, Trump. This is just starting to get egregious now. Yeah. Like, come on. But 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 come on, come but, on, come but, on, come on, come on. But let me ask you something though. What's like what you know is something the, is wrong when I feel the need to jump to defend Eminem too. <laughs> but what is wrong with people saying they don't listen to him anymore? It's wrong with him saying anything. Why? Because he, he should be mute. No, I mean, he can say that. Oh, please. That's his, that's his opinion. He's 12. <laughs> no, he's not. He, he said, fuck him and then call him a bitch. So. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on, Rory. Man. I mean, come on now. Not Rory. Come on. Whatever. This is Maul. right on brand for M. M has beefed with pop stars his whole career. Maul. Has he not? Lil Pump you think, pop if you think Lil Maul, Pump is, please stop right. this. I'm not saying the baby Pump and Lil Pump are in the same category. I'm not saying what Pump is. is. I'm just saying like turning into a, we, we, are we about to argue? <laughs> that's, he, he, that's what he. That's what M he does. He talks though. to Trump once and he's a pop star for you. No, I'm just saying that's what that's what Eminem does though. He he always gets into little shit like this though, which is why I don't understand why he even. But he responds to it. This is a, this is a little Pump move. He did it with J Cole. He did it with other people. Like if you just ignore them, they go away. It's mad easy. That's why I just said, I don't know why M was on records naming names and going at people like, what are you doing? I would never do that if I was M. I don't give a fuck who doesn't listen to me. I'm a legacy act at this point. I want to do away with the term clout chasing. Why? Because they... It's real. Because No, it's not. What? Hear me out. Okay. It's called existing at this point. I think it's called, it should be called like clout running in chase. I'm running in place. Mm. Why? Explain. Clout chasing alludes to you being able to achieve something. You don't think And so? I think that for the clout chasers, that that goal is never over. Like you don't get a certain amount of clout, uh, air quotes, and then say, Okay, I'm good with this. No, you keep chasing it. <laughs> you start naming you start, you start naming bigger names. It's, you start going at, an at the bigger people. Like, okay, let's 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 play along. Lil Pump says, fuck Eminem, he can suck my dick, he a bitch, he can't fight, whatever, whatever's gonna make him angry. It goes viral for ten minutes, you get hot for a day, and then the next day, what happens now? What was the point of yesterday? What did that do? When can you when are you able to cash in on your clout? You go to the casino, you get chips, you win, you cash them in. Mm. When can I cash in on my Clout. Well, the good I ones get it, do. I get, it the that, good ones do. I get it that there's data and research and analytics mm -hmm. that are making people do and say things mm -hmm. thinking that they can run numbers up mm -hmm. and cash in on them. Mm -hmm. But even that, even that thinking is flawed when the numbers are on the DSPs who are not really sharing numbers with you anyway. Mm -hmm. Or like paying they've you been, for yeah, them. They, they, they've been dead at that. So, I mean, when I see this a week from 2021, like this was the wave the last three years. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think this is going to continue to be the wave because I think niggas is hip to it. I think he's just late. Like, I don't think... No, I don't, he's not late. He's I actually early. He's one of the, like, he's been... Well, he this. might be early and late. What I'm saying is, I don't think he's one of the... I don't think he has so much ability to rely on. Mm. No. I but, think this kid is an idiot. I don't, I don't think the word chase is where it should be changed. The word clout. By definition, influence or power especially in politics or business. We can leave that second part out. Influence or power. Doing fuck shit on the internet that people comment on and follow you because of it is not influence or power. So the word clout is being misused. But it, but can it be on line? It could be, yeah. I mean, with the uh, what was the first part of it? The in- influence, influence or power. You, you have a little bit more influence if you have more, influ- uh, more followers. I'm going to so look I, up the I'm word with Rory, influence. Yo, the appearance of influence and power doesn't mean there's influence. Okay, influence. 100%. The capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. Mm-hmm. Or the effect itself. Okay. I don't think doing fuck shit on the internet is influence. I agree. Well, it's influencing other kids to do fuck shit. <laughs> That's what this okay, is all about. Okay, maybe I stand corrected. So we, watch, we, watch, we, watch, we watch Little Pump Chase Clout all the way on stage with Donald Trump. I just okay. watched this shit. Important influence. I'm I just saying. Know. We just. I'm just saying. He 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 put a video out. Said Trump's name. Next thing we know, Trump is shouting him out at his rally. Brought him on stage. Like, but but the kids, call it what the you kids want. that that's, would be influenced by Pump are not old enough to vote. That's not true. What are you talking about? This kid is. A, he's a big star. This YouTube. nigga's a fucking idiot. Uh, he may be. Look, I don't know at, him. I'm just saying he's a big. Thud-un-thud-un. I'm just saying Mike, that stop, he, a lot stop. of people watch this kid is what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's, I think that's part of the problem because the more you justify it with this kid is a big star wherever they're a big star at, mm-hmm. that rationalizes the clout chasing and the stupid shit because it's like if we could just say that, if all that matters in the end is I'm big somewhere, YouTube views, yeah. Yeah. then fuck it, I'm with it. Clout and, chasing and I, is just, just wanting to be mentioned by somebody bigger than yourself or be acknowledged by someone bigger than yourself. And getting views you don't monetize is not... <laughs> is Are his eyebrows done? Uh, That's what you want to know? I don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know his skincare routine. <laughs> Thick man's got some nice brows. I, listen, influence, I might go get mine done. <laughs> a lot of people watch this kid. I don't. Yeah, let's play it. Let's play, up to me. Not, let's play a thing, game. But. Let's do it. Tell me what hip hop looks like the next three years. I would say five, but I don't want y'all to use that much foresight. What does hip hop? The, the next two to three. Give it to me. We did this in 2018, 2017, somewhere around there, and here I am putting y'all on that spot. Get what does it look like? Hmm. That might be hard to do coming off a difficult 2020. Yeah, yeah. we but don't know what I, anything I, is going to look but like. But I don't that. care. I still want to hear it. Uh, I, 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 he has pissed me off now. Give I think me your you, imagination. I, I think is this still happening in 2023? More than ever. I don't know. That goes back to the, the the data versus the the hard model. We'll see. As soon as Instagram says they're going to start paying you for likes and comments, what do you think is going to happen? I'm telling you, what they're not going to do is start paying you for likes and comments. Uh, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't. You don't have. You do not know that. You cannot say that confidently. Okay. So just think about it. just just think about it. Repeat what you're saying, Saki. If Instagram or any of these social social media sites start mm-hmm. saying we're going to pay you for all of your retweets, mm-hmm. your comments, and your likes, mm-hmm. then this is just the beginning of cloud chasing. As far I'm, as I'm, I'm with Parks. They're not doing that. Okay. Not the likes. They'll find a different way for you to get the money. Like they're talking about you getting paid from your Insta Live mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they have some. I'm sure they'll continue to have certain. Uh, Tastemakers and influencers that get paid per post, but you don't mm-hmm. get paid per like. Even if it's even if it's a penny, even if it's two cents per like, it won't be. I'm just saying. So it in 2023, be. it'll be YouTube money, if anything. Mall which is says not real money. clout chasing will be more alive than ever Absolutely. before. You say what? Uh, I feel like there is at some point in the next four years, which I may go beyond the three year scope, there will be an intervention from government or business regulating the companies that rely on data to make their money. So I think that clout chasing as a result will diminish. Say that again. I, I think understand. that the government and just the nature of business will eventually start to dampen down on companies that rely solely on data. Which they have started. It's, so, yeah. it's, we're seeing seeds sure. of it. Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. I think that Early that will seats. continue to happen and probably accelerate in the next couple of years. Agreed. And as a result, I think clout chasing will decline because there won't be as much data, value in data mm-hmm. in the way that it is today. Well, I don't know because I think a lot of people that do the clout chasing shit are not getting any value but attention. Like like I said of of yeah, all right, you're you're getting all these views that you're not monetizing. You're doing it for attention, for ego, for to say, look at all these people talking about me. Mm-hmm. The quote unquote clout chasers aren't necessarily making money. So they'll still continue. Someone's gonna make money. I get and, it, but if there's if there's less incentive to do it because the data companies are being hampered by the government or just the fact that Apple is now blocking data companies from mining data from your phone. Mm-hmm. I think there will be less incentive to do it because there will be less that type of shit in general on the internet. I think the internet will be used in a very different way in the next three to five years. I think you're giving the idiot cloud chasers too much credit. All right, we got more. We got <laughs> more to predict. We got more to predict. I don't want to Let's get go. married here. 2023, 2024. There's more artists or less artists. More. What do you mean? Successful ones, relevant ones, or just in general? Volume. More. I think more, for sure. It's easier to create music. So that's not going to stop. I don't think playlisting is going anywhere. So you don't have to continue to make albums to be successful you can do singles and each playlist has a different artist I told so you y'all right, I, say less. I told y'all four years I'm ago on it's, the easier, other side it's of that. easier to get on yeah you tell us every podcast mm-hmm. it is and it's getting easier I say less I'm think I'm think I'm rolling with less and that's just if I'm looking out my window right now all all the artists that I love I'm begging them for an album it's been years oh I think it's I, been years I think we'll see a lot less um mega stars maybe Putting out music, continuing to put out. There'll be people still rising to it. This current crop of megastars that we have, we'll probably see less and less from. But there'll be new people to replace them. That's just the way the music industry goes. Uh, listen, I don't think much is going to change the way it hasn't changed in the sense that... How many lyrical, stars we lyrical, got now? Lyrical artists, artists with integrity, artists that have substance, artists that make real music will always continue to be on top and there will always be fuck shit. Mm-hmm. So yes... It's, it will change, but has it really changed much on a, a top surface level? No. Music, Real the music, music industry always is number one, no matter what. You can clown lyrics all you want. Lyrical rappers have been number one since the 80s, and that's never going to change. And they're dropping albums every four years. That's not true. Okay. You think Drake is a, a lyrical rapper? Yep. Doesn't drop every four years? You think Cole is a lyrical rapper? Yes, he does. Cole does not drop every four years. Three years. Two, maybe. I think less. Okay. I think. But less. even if they drop albums, they're still they're very active though in the in the years that they don't drop albums. I don't care about that. I'm, I care about the circulation of money that keeps the the music industry afloat. That's what I care about. I don't care about how active people are. I don't care about that right now. Right now, I care about who's who's making the money and where is it going. Twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four. There's more money for the corpse or the artists. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the trend has always been more towards the corporations in American history, so I would probably guess corporations. Yeah, I think... So what changes in the next two to three years for the artists or for music? Because in listening to y'all, it sounds like y'all anticipate everything kind of remaining the same. I think we're going to see a lot of these... uh, I think we're going to see a lot of companies pop up that are going to start supporting the creators more. I think think somebody's going to be smart enough to say, all right, listen, if we jump out here and start giving creators more for their creations mm. it's only common sense that we will become a big company we will like people will come to us maybe just pay the creators what they're worth maybe somebody's gonna do it that's a lot of I faith. believe somebody's that's gonna a lot do of faith. it I think I that more so. artists will figure out how to make more money uh, putting out music independently because I'm seeing it currently with the boom bat people that you yell at me for loving and supporting they're making a lot of money doing shit themselves out the trunk of the car literally or figuratively I think you will see more of that and it's hard. What to- boom bap artist is making more money doing whatever you just said? What do you mean? All the there's ones a lot of here. there's a huge community of boom bap artists that are making a lot of money, they're dressing up vinyls, they're themselves, making a living for themselves, making a, a very it. good living for themselves, very good living for well, themselves. Well, because that's just the trick. I mean, we said it earlier, and maybe we'll have to flush this out on our own time. The solution probably is vinyl coming back, CDs coming back, mm-hmm, direct sure. to consumer, all of us, everybody. So we can stop giving them things that they can take all the data from. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? 
I think that just becoming aware of it, you know. We can't bring back Virgin Megastore, can we? No. No. <laughs> no. But it's not hard to... They killed, mo- they killed mom and pops, so we can't do that either. That used to be our way. But I don't think you have to... to they stole go, all the mailboxes during to, the election. You can't <laughs> no, mail that's, shit. That's true. I don't think that you have to go uh, to traditional being in-store or retail to be a valid retail establishment. In fact, most of the people that I know that are up during this pandemic, like we mentioned earlier in this podcast, are friends that work in online retailers. Uh, one of my best friends works in like t-shirts and garments. One of my other best friends works in uh, music instruments. And they are up, 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 up. And that kind of reflects in what's happening with people pressing up their own vinyls and merch and shit and selling it online and shipping it out themselves. Online retail and retail in general is very much alive in the cyberspace and all it, oh, your, via the internet. Oh, your buddy's doing great. All Corey's little stock buddies are doing excellent. <laughs> Who else is doing good out there, man? It's stocks. It's, it's, it's but, everything. It, but it's all it's all related. Like you can make money if you figure out how to make retail work for you online. That is true. Mo about to get his money from the susu, right? <laughs> <laughs> your date is coming. Your week is coming, right? One day I'm gonna come on here and really blast this nigga Joe, and y'all gonna be so mad. I'm at asking him, a valid. I'll be here. I'll be sitting here keeping it real. I'm cool. asking him. I've been watching you, know you for years. Yeah, pump money into the susu. I've been watching you for years. Waiting, too, waiting for your date. Yeah, I know. It's time is coming. March is coming, right? Yeah, yeah. You gonna get all the money I know. then? Yeah. Twenty racks. Twenty racks. <laughs> Yo, why you shit on me for saying you got a susu? I'm just, I'm just like, You're so offended by No, I, I'm just saying, that's just, that's just one of. Like, you just keep going. Like, all right, guy, keep going.